reigning, defending people's champ, it's Paul Douglas! <laughs> oh my. I'm a big sports guy, right? Straight into it, big sports guy. And uh, I got told I talk about sports a little too much. A little too much, apparently I should read more books. Yeah, she said books are better than sports. I said, oh, I don't know. Don't think the ending of a good book's ever sent anyone on a three-day bender. <laughs> what are you guys celebrating? Oh, you know the end of a good John Grisham? <laughs> okay. Easily, easily my favorite part of the uh, sporting world last year was the woman winning the Rugby World Cup. How good? <laughs> How good? I had a bit of a moral dilemma though because I was like watching it, I was with my wife, I'm a modern guy, you know, I treat women with respect, it's all about equality, but five minutes into that and I was just like, tackle that bitch! <laughs> thirsty for it. I kind of love that between the attention that the woman's game's getting and an all black coming out as gay that you know there's some old heads out there just going like, ah! <laughs> they're the same guys that when they see nah me at the end of an email, they're like, oh, let's go. You know. <laughs> I've got a theory about those guys, and I'm pretty sure the reason they're so grumpy is because they had to grow up listening to war stories, <laughs> never had to go to war, and so naturally the property market has become their battlefield. <laughs> Sometimes they're so grumpy, you know, I just want to like grab them and be like, why are you so grumpy, man? Like, you don't know how to relax, you know? Like, I don't think I've ever walked in, seen a boomer lying underneath a mink blanket watching Netflix. <laughs> Straight up, they don't lie down till they die. <laughs> Sometimes I see them and they're grumpy and I just want to grab them and just be like, go buy an Udi, you know? <laughs> I'm just jealous that like old people got to grow up without the paranoia of having their photo taken where on the piss, you know? Like that's something you have to worry about now. Like, there's some people in this crowd, they didn't have to worry about it at all. No one was bringing out that wooden box with a curtain <laughs> and a light bulb. Just being like, quick, Herschel shat himself in the dining hall. Bring your camera. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Because it makes me wonder, like, what, like how did people even get, in, get caught cheating before cameras? What, they come home and their wife was just holding a bloody sketch of the saloon they were just at? <laughs> Who is this? You're like, oh, my word, you know. It's crazy. Young dudes, though, young dudes in the crowd, man, this is my bit of advice. Never send an unsolicited dick pic. That's how you get in trouble with cameras, okay? Solicited, go hard, take a few angles, you know, like. <laughs> unsolicited is always creepy, always creepy. Just don't do it. Honestly, the creepiest thing I ever heard about was a guy, he was sending dick pics over email. <laughs> I know, email, think about that. Like a messenger service, at least you're kind of like, photo, boom, sent, gone. <laughs> but you gotta compose an email. <laughs> you gotta be like, oh, email, what was it? .co.nz or .com, you know, that part. <laughs> then you gotta be like, subject. <laughs> you, know, you wanna hook him in? And then like, how do you even start that email? You're like, dear Samantha, here's that dick I wasn't telling you about. <laughs> the trickiest part though is easily right at the end of that email and you gotta decide, am I gonna sign this thing off, nah me? <laughs> I mean, Paul Douglas, you guys have a good rest of your night. <laughs>